right, Mickey. So you've got me in here thinking I can airbrush this just with this stencil. You know what? I got absolute faith in you. You know, right. I know you don't have really any experience other than maybe doing a little shading with an airbrush gun, and that's typical that's, with most people. That's all I've got. But that's what we're gonna do. So what I want you to do is just take the, the white that you have in there and just kind of stay back maybe five or six inches and just kind of Stop shade it. across this and tone that whole thing, just kind of a, a, a gray tone. Just, just start going back and forth across it. Yeah. Now, anytime you're dimensionalizing anything, you always want to have a, a kind of a light source. Uh, by the way this stencil is cut, you can actually see. See how this area is open more yep. on this side and there's less on this side? Okay. That's telling us our light source is kind of coming in from this direction. See how so strong this is here? We need to here? highlight this side That's of That's right. Okay. And what we do on a, on, a, on a skull shape or any kind of curved shape, we have what's called a specular highlight. And literally it's a circular highlight. So what you want to do is just kind of make a, a spot there and you can stay back, you know, five or six inches and just kind of open your throttle. Just make that start. And just make it lighter. Yeah. All right. Just going to hit it with white and, and that creates the illusion that that's a round and curved surface. Like when you look at a, anything, just like a, not, you uh, see yeah, the light. Yeah, like a, okay. an apple or a ball, anything right. that's curved. Okay. So the same thing, you know, on, on the skulls we have brows, so I would suggest that you put some highlights across the top of the brows and this will help create some dimension as well. You would do the same thing then around the underside where these cheekbones stick out of the eyes. So just kind of punch them up some. Now here's the beautiful thing. If you put it on too strong, you can always just take black in the gun and calm it back down. So you've got some degree of uh, leeway. Now like on these teeth, you know, if you do what we call a flare stroke, which is just kind of a stroke and you actually hit the tooth and just kind of fade it up, it'll just kind of create these little ridges that you naturally have in, in the bone. Now, this is not an easy thing. This is probably your toughest thing on here to try to do. Yeah. Maybe Perfect. a little darker when you go into it a little bit. Yeah, we can always come back again, like I told you, with the, uh, with the dark. Now let's use some of those texture stencils and create some, um, some real depth. While you still got your white on, let's try this one. Okay. Give him a little see, afro. See, yeah. <laughs> see, how it's, see how it's kind of curved like that? But just yeah. put it up in that space. Okay. okay. Now, just dust across that, and you don't really have to hit it really strong. You know, just get some on it. Just that you go across the top, or you just yeah, the whole just thing over in. the whole thing. All right. Now, pull it away and take a look. And you'll see it'll create all those little oddities and shapes. Oh, yeah. All right, which is really nice. So you can do the same thing here. What I do is flip it over, so I use the same way, you know, like across the chin area. Little goatee, yeah, little yeah, beard there. Yeah, just the little little divots and stuff in the in the bone structure is what you're kind of giving the illusion of. The whites are like bumps. When we go back with the black, it'll be like you know dips. Divots, so okay. you got ups and downs. And you can do the same on the cheekbones above and below. And here you can really hit the highlight. If you put that up like that, yes, I, and then just hit that nice and strong across that. Okay. Try that. That's kind of cool. There. Gives those little splits in those brows and stuff. Um, all right, let's try uh, let's try getting you a, a, a black on there. Now do the same thing. Use your stencil again. You can drop it down a little, maybe through more of that center area, okay. and just kind of dust some of the black on, and it'll create some more like little divots. You see how that's working in between the white and the black? Yeah. And we head through here. We come back and hit that specular highlight again. But go ahead and just put it through this whole center section. Check it out. There you go. See, see how soft that is? Yep. And yet how it creates those variations? Yeah, if you'll use that through those cheekbones and stuff. See, for never having done this, you're, you're getting a lot of detail in there that, uh, oh, that's awesome looking. Beginner's luck. <laughs> well, you know, I mean, you, you put it on, a, you know, a little bit heavier, but it looks it looks nice and deep. Okay. And now, on this, sometimes this has got a little different texture. You can, you can create different ones. We've got the ones like this. This one might be a cool one for that. They're a little more elongated. If you were to hold those Bring in this direction, it. give it a dusting across that teeth area to see. It just varies it up a little, so your pattern's not the same. You want to go the same direction? Yeah, any, yeah, any way you really want it. It's all experimentation, you know. You never know what you're going to get when you, you like, move around with them. It's kind of like college? Yeah. <laughs> I would think at this point, I would probably want to pop some more highlights in. Okay. So maybe we got to switch back again to the white. Just, you know, give it a few more shots of highlights. And maybe get kind of come in closer and get a little strong on the bridge of the nose might not be a bad idea just because that kind of sticks out more. All right, why don't we pull that off and take a look at it? As, as simple as that was. Not horrible. Oh, no, it's not bad. We got a little of the underspray, but we just <laughs> come back with the black. But yeah, it's not bad. Here's what you can learn a little bit. Once you take it off now, get your black again. 
and you can spray your black just lightly around it, but you can use your black to, if you got work on a little bit of the gun control, to create a little bit deeper shadows in that gotcha. to, uh, uh, to help uh, form it up some. For instance, I would spray around this and just kind of kill that out a little bit. But if you can get real soft and you know do those little flare strokes across, say, uh, the upper part of the brow, you can add a little bit of shadow. It's kind of a, yeah. So that makes your brow pop out more. You see that? And that's what you do. You just go back and you look at areas and say, well, if this is too bright, you want to kill that down a little bit over yeah, this side. Yeah, I feel like it is too bright over yeah, there. Actually. Yeah, so that'll help make that round, those teeth, by shadowing a little bit to that side. And so when you begin to add color then on top of that, when you use transparent colors, all those little oddities, you know, between your lights and darks are going to show up. And see, that, that's the cool stuff about those stencils. These are things that artists used to sit there and kind of do one at a yeah, time by hand. Oh, yeah. And that. they're so time consuming to do it. So, oh, yeah. You know, this makes it where uh, uh, you can do it without having to have those secret control skills. Also, you can produce something that looks pretty damn good pretty quick. Yeah. Which allows you to sell something to a customer at an affordable price. Exactly. And that we're makes not spending it countless hours on it. And right. people can't pay your hourly price they because can't. you have 200 hours they, or something They like can't this. do it, you yeah. know. But if you can knock these out, you can make a really good money per Great. hour. And they, they're tickled to death with the price yeah. they can get it at. So yeah. that's yeah. the key behind that stuff. But hey, first, first attempt. Time? Not Are bad. Are you kidding me? I'm, I'm, I'm pretty good at all. that. You know. All right. A couple more times with some color. I think you're going to be well. going to be taking my job away from me. To learn more about these products, how-to videos, and to purchase these products, go to caseyspaintshop.com or you can hit me up on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook.